Hi there. This is a quick little video on the backup directory that is provided with the MIF uh, system. Uh, this is not something that's on normal Ubuntu systems, although you can install things like this. Uh, but this is something that the CS department provides to, or I guess the, the university provides, that uh, gives you a backup of the files in your folders. Uh, now this isn't the back. This is not the kind of backup like Dropbox, where it saves all revisions of your files for many, many days. No, it saves one revision, uh, which is backed up nightly. So uh, if you come in to do your work and you're working along and you accidentally delete a file, if the file was present in the system yesterday, it is probably in your backup folder. Uh, but you can't go and say, "Oh, well, two days ago I had something uh, that was." Uh, that I changed yesterday, but I want to go back to the two days ago version. That's not going to happen. Uh, if the backup runs and uh, the file has changed when the backup runs, then that's the one copy you get until uh, the file changes again and another backup is run. Uh, but anyway, it's easy to get to your backup folder from uh, your home directory. So if we cd into our home directory, I'm on the myth computer here, and then we cd into backup, or I could have just typed cd tilde dot backup. Okay, notice I'm in the backup directory and it happens to look very similar to all of the files that are in my regular directory. If I go back to my home directory, type ls, it's basically basically the same files. But um, the backup directory is a directory that is, uh, as I said, basically one day old. So actually, yesterday I think I had the, my CS107 folder called 107, so it's not hasn't updated today. Uh, so that's that. But if we look in it, um, actually, if you look at the files, um, I don't believe you're actually able to remove them. Test.c. Yeah, it says a read-only file system. In other words, you can look, but you can't modify anything in your backup. But again, it is just simply for uh, backup purposes. If I happen to want my um, test.c program to be uh, to go back into my home folder, I could copy it back in. Cd cp test.c into my uh, previous folder and then I've got my backup. So anyway, it's just a way to uh, say, okay, there's some backup capability in case uh, the system crashes or in case your computer dies or you accidentally remove a file. That's probably the biggest reason. If you accidentally remove files uh, from your folder or from your directory that were there yesterday, you can get them back. All right, thanks.